and welcome to Hamps Pokemon. And today I have something a little bit special and it is this Rebel Clash booster box from Japan. Really excited to get it opened up on the channel. I have actually opened up already four booster boxes of this set and I've done them all on Twitch. I um, mean, actually I've done three of them on Twitch. I did one just sort of like alone by myself just, in, just to enjoy just opening some packs for once. Really excited to get this opened up. I haven't done a lot of Japanese content on this channel before. Um, this this one's uh, sponsor Pokemon Aura is basically toxicity. Um, there there are some really cool Pokemon in here. The, the the cards that you're really looking for the most, I guarantee I won't be able to rip this. Um, are there's a gold Galarian gold Galarian Persica, which is a really sought after card, probably a fifty plus dollar card, and there is. Giovanni, uh, like I think it's Giovanni Boss's orders, which is um, upwards in the region of like a fifty dollar card itself. Why in the world this will not come out? <clears throat> there we go. Uh, yeah, and I did actually pull that on my Twitch. So if you're ever interested in checking out t um, Twitch at all or use Twitch, um, worth looking at. Um, I do have a Twitch channel. <clears throat> that I do post a lot of stuff on. But yeah, that, that Giovanni's boss's orders is like a it's like a $45 card by itself, so really awesome pull. I'm just gonna dive straight into it. So yeah, so these so unlike English, I know a lot of people on this channel watch me open English research. Unlike English, these ones are five cards, one from the front to the back. And there you go, holographic. Not every pack is guaranteed holographic. That's a luxe by the looks of it. Um, not every set is guaranteed a holo. Um, you're not even guaranteed a rare, obviously, or anything like that in uh, in these packs. But you do tend to get really good, really good pulls in the booster box. So there are, hey, just like that, a VMAX Caparaggio. So really awesome pull. Do already own this one. But a lovely card. Look at the fantastic artwork on that. Throw it at the back. So you you tend to get in a booster box, you'll get one secret rare. Uh, you'll get two V Max, and probably somewhere on the lines of four or five regular regular um, Vs. So and then probably upwards in the region of about around about eight to nine or seven to nine. Uh, yeah, seven to nine holographics. And these booster boxes run around. This one actually, because they're imported from Japan, most of the time there's like a little bit of extra money on them. So I think I paid like 55 for for the first ones. But um, I did actually manage to find this one for $45. And there's another another holographic, brilliant. Um, I did actually find this one for $45, which is an absolute bargain. Because for instance, if I was to pull the Galarian Persica or the Giovanni's boss's orders, that pays for the box, just that one card by itself. So um, it's pretty crazy to find to have found a box that cheap, but but uh, I did. Um, it's a really cool Pokemon in this. Uh, oh, someone called this the Golden Snitch on my uh, Twitch. <coughs> um, the ones I'm trying to think. I, I do have a couple of secret rares, obviously. So I've got four secret rares, and I've luckily I've had a different secret rare in every in every box so far. Um, but I've been pretty unlucky with the VMAXs. Uh, I have, I've pulled a Malamar in every single, Ice Cube, cool, in every single box I've opened so far. <laughs> a Malamar VMAX, which is crazy. So I've got four Malamar VMAXs. So if I ever wanted to create a Japanese theme deck, I could definitely, definitely be using those and playing it. So. Um, as you can see, though, there are packs there with without anything in, which is fine. I'm trying to think. I've got all of... I actually do now have all of the V cards. I don't need any of the regular V. I'm trying to remember. I think there's a... I might be wrong, but there might... I think there's a Nine Tails V Max. I don't have that. Oh, and there's the other V Max. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get... It looks like I'm not going to get another V Max. Um, the V Maxes that I need. It's Toxtricity VMAX, which um, I've also now pulled four times. So I won't pull Malamar out of this box, which is 
almost certainly not, which is good because I'm sick of Malamar. But look at the cracking artwork on that. It is this is like probably probably my favorite card um that I've seen so far. I think it's just absolutely brilliant because it, the colors are so fantastic. But I do now have four of those, I think, because I keep pulling the same the same ones, which which is fine. It's kind of to be expected with the Japanese. That's kind of like the advantage of Japanese booster boxes in a way is that you'll you're likely to get most of the good cards in a really short period of time. So um, I'm pretty sure with so all of the regular commons and uncommons, I got every single regular common and uncommon out of the first booster box. Hey, Chandelure. And then I was gonna say actually, I only needed one holographic from by the time I got to the second booster box, and it was actually this chandelure, which I've now got several chandelures, but um so by the time I got two booster boxes, so like a hundred dollars, I suppose, in I had got uh, all of the all of the commons and commons and all the holographics. Hey, Copperage V, very nice to go with that V Max back there. Fantastic artwork with this just trunk just sort of about bursting out of the card there. Um I I think by the third booster box I'd got No, that's not true. I think no, I by the fourth, so my last booster box that I bought, I'd had I then had every single I'd got every single V card. Um, now it's just a couple of V Maxes. And I probably I won't buy any more um booster boxes of this set because it's really just like kind of pointless. I just picked this one up because it was 45 bucks, which is super cheap. Um otherwise I, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered and so I'm just really kind of hoping that I get a pretty cool card in here of some sort that can sort of cover some of that cost. Hey, Phalanx, very cool. Only the second one I believe that I've got of that. Maybe the third, maybe the third one. But um, as you can see, almost halfway through the booster box, four holographics and four Vs or better. Um, you're obviously in an English booster box you'd be looking at 36 packs and you'd be looking at trying to get at least six VMAX or better. I feel like the English, in the English system, they kind of screw you over a little bit. Um, they kind of know that we'll pay more and um, they, there's just, there's all, you just get less for your money, which is ridiculous really when you think about it. Um, but that's half a boost box. So that's the first half. First half done. And I'm really happy with that first half. There should be a secret rare in the second half of the booster box, which is exciting. So I'm just moving some things around in the background. So let's dive into the second half. I'll open them as they're intended. Um, as they were intended to be open. I do, I, I'd love to know like what the equivalent cost is in Japan for like one of these booster packs. I'd love to know what the, the cost is. If it's... Um, cheap or not I don't I mean I wouldn't know it's only five card I mean you presume it'd be like similar to like a Dollar Tree pack maybe a smidge more expensive because it is five cards and your pull rates are way higher than a than a Dollar Tree pack um but I, I honestly don't know I don't I wouldn't know how much they charge in in Japan but some really cool artworks in here if you're enjoying the the different Pokemon this is a really good card this is around about a ten dollar card by itself and um, that's the regular art Giovanni boss's order <clears throat> saw some going on the on eBay for like 20 plus dollars but th they won't sell for that I think the ones that were going were going for about 10 so that's pretty good I mean it's great for a holographic I and mean, if you can sell a holo for ten dollars like some box some Japanese boxes you'll get some hollows twice if you were lucky enough to get it twice in a box you could make twenty dollars I'm um, selling so both, make 20 bucks, that'd be pretty handy. Rare is A, my Lotic V. So very cool. I really do like the artwork on this, very, very colourful. The red really stands out. Chuck it at the back there. Really excited for the new set to come out, the new English set, of course. I've, I've sort of just attached myself to Japanese cards while I've been waiting for the new set to drop. I think when I go out there and buy loads and loads and loads of Sword and Shield base, um, cards packs I bought quite a few already um but I just sort of I got to quite a, I got to a pretty decent point and I thought well 
I've got all the commons and uncommons and I've got a lot of the V cards. So I think I'm just going to stop here and then I'll buy individual cards. So that's the plan with my Sword and Shield because I was going to attempt to at least attempt to get a master set of Sword and Shield base, but um, there are so many secret rares. It's just, it's kind of, that's the only downside of these Japanese packs is a lot of secret rares. I think there's like, I might be wrong, but there's like four, I think it's 14 or something silly. There's a lot of secret rares in um, in this set. That's the only thing that lets it, lets it down. So I still need, obviously, like in order to actually complete this set, I need a lot of um, secret rares just to complete it, which is kind of crazy. Another hollow, and this one is Clefable, very cool. How many packs left? So there are seven packs left. I'm really hoping that there's a there's a secret rare in here, because there should be. Um, I have had it before where it's been like the last but one pack, I think, out of the box. So I think that could be what it is in here. <laughs> For some reason I thought there was another card there and it just wasn't. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think. That there's basically every V card that you see, I think, is available in secret rare form. Ooh, and there's a Toxtricity V. I knew I could see something sparkling back there. Do have this several times also. I do actually have the secret rare version of um, Toxtricity V. I haven't pulled a rainbow rare though, um, which would class as a secret rare also. I haven't pulled any rainbows out of this set. I've pulled like th all four have been regular secret rares or like two, two, tr two regular trainers, I should say, two full art trainers, which class as secret rares. Um, and two, so one was Copper Raja and one was Toxicity, but none of them, there were no rainbows. So I haven't pulled a rainbow yet out of this set. So that would be something that I would definitely would like. Stone Journal, holographic. So getting down to the last three packs now. Really hoping it's in one of these three. Should be. They've been very consistent, actually, um, these boost boxes. That's one thing I will say is it's like you can pretty much rely that you're going to get pretty much something good out of every box um one secret out of every box so that's 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 quite handy i do like it, it, in pokemon obviously in like english sometimes you can get screwed over so really hoping that this has got something in it oh and there it is the secret rare itself elder gross secret rare full art beautiful looking card last but one pack and there it is. That is a beautiful colouring with that sort of like faded purpley pink colour. Looks absolutely brilliant. Don't have that one, so that's one to add to the list. Don't think, I can't imagine it's worth a lot of money. I wouldn't guess. I'm actually thinking that this is slightly, normally I get eight. So it looks like there's only going to be, unless there's something magic in here, seven. Nope, just seven. Just, just seven. Um, seven in this box, but that's fine. It's normally seven or eight. It tends to be like seven or eight, V or better. And then you look at the hollows. So the hollows were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hollows. Eight hollows and seven regulars. So that's 15 out of, this, out of the 30 packs. That's bang on half. That's fantastic. Hope you enjoyed this opening anyway. Something a little bit different for my channel because I don't tend to open Japanese cards on my YouTube very often. Very, very rarely anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks a lot, guys, for popping on by. Please like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, it's goodbye.